James just said the most wonderful things about you. Oh, uh, well, I could say the same about him and Jessica. You, you know, I think when you're a first timer, to get to work with a cast like I did and to have, to have collaborators like them, they make you better than you actually are. And, you know, it's 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 been a special experience, and you know, to to, to get to make make what I initially made and then have all of these versions coming out, it's, it's you know, you feel a little charmed as a first timer, you know, uh, to, to ha and especially to have the people supporting it who are supporting it. So where did this, I, I mean, you're a first timer, mm -hmm. and here you are coming up with this incredibly complex, I mean, it's hard enough to make a film, mm -hmm. and it's okay, start out with two of them, and then it's well, I, I, I wanted to write a love story, period. Uh, and then I wrote what became him, the first half of the, the two-part film. Uh, and I gave that script to Jessica and years ago. And Jess started asking me questions about the character of Eleanor and who she is and, you know, where does she go? And I sort of sat with those and I, I sort of had vague ideas, but I started writing them down and then we talked and I was like, well, why don't I just write a whole other script for you so you can play that character? And she was like, great, let's try it. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So I wound up with this 223-page, two-part script that became our shooting script. And, you know, that was the thing that these three delusional, four delusional people tried to make for years until we finally got it made. So, so um, what, what was really the most difficult part of doing did you do two scripts at once? Or? We shot the whole thing in 40 days. So... We basically, I think the scripts differ with the exception of four scenes. So they're actually separate movies, but they're four overlapping scenes between these two characters. And I wanted to show the different perspectives of those two characters within those moments because they're emotionally fraught moments. And, and that, those are the parts that they sort of re-engage with each other and sort of progress towards finding a synthesis. And uh, ultimately, I just wanted to show how in relationships we experience things differently, we remember things differently, we, we reappropriate memory in a way where, you know, if somebody hurts us, we look at them as cold. And then, you know, if somebody says, I love you, we sort of like feel the warmth, you know, and, and, and in those later scenes, I sort of show the memory of each of them remembering the other saying, I love you, or, you know, in one scene, James's character, I think, admits to a transgression, and in the other version of the scene, in her version of the scene, she actually intuits it. So, you know, I wanted to play with those perceptions, and, and it's a real testament to what just the two of them did, because not only did they play the character they were playing, but they played a perception of the character they were playing. So they were playing two characters. It's a real feat of acting what they did. Uh, you it's know. also a real feat of directing to do all that. I had a really good crew. We were really organized. I had a really good group of collaborators. So that made my job really easy. Uh, you know, along with these actors. I had an amazing producer who was one of my best friends. So, you know, that's, that's good. So James said that, the, that one of the characters in the film is, um, is New York City. Mm, definitely. Can you talk a little bit about Well, I'm here? from New York and uh, I, this, this is home. I love this city and I love all facets of it. And I sort of wanted to let my version of New York be the character or the context of this world that I love so much. So I, I set the script in that world and I sort of scouted in a way that I thought, you know, made sense for, for New York to feel like a version of New York that I wanted people to experience. And, and you know, the city's an amazing collaborator and it's also a pain in the ass sometimes when you're shooting. So, um, but yeah, ultimately it, it was just special to be here having grown up here to get to shoot it. Because when I was writing it, I was actually living in LA or I was traveling a lot. Uh, you know, so I, 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 I sort of living vicariously here through the script. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I wish you the best Thank you so much. Pleasure meeting you.